Dear colleagues, in this case, the main incision is between 8.30 and 9 o'clock because the patient has high plus cylinder at 15 degree axis. The main incision has been placed. Now, viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber. Now, this is a side port at around 12 o'clock. And only one side port has been made in this case. Now, capsular axis is to be done. The capsule has been incised and a capsular tag has been raised. Now, I am going to use a uterta forceps going anticlockwise, remaining at a equal distance all around from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus getting an adequate sized continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Now, hydro dissection is done, fluid wave is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim and the fluid wave goes to the opposite side, the nucleus is balloted and the nucleus is rotated. Pisco is again injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece. The machine being used is Oatly Catrix 3 FACO machine. The tip is introduced bevel down no in this case it is it goes bevel up and this is direct chop few sculpts hold the nucleus and chop it rotate the nucleus hold at another place and separate the nucleus into two heminuclei. Each heminucleus is then subdivided into parts and it is emulsified and removed. So on heminucleus has been managed by this time and this is the other heminucleus. The other heminucleus is tilted, divided into two parts and it is FECO power used in this case is 60%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Nucleus and epinucleus has been managed by this time. Cortical cleanup is to be done now. Viscoelastic substance is injected to keep the anterior chamber formed while I remove the cortical matter using Simco cannula through the main incision. This is a 23 gauze Simco cannula. cortex is very easily and very comfortably removed with this very simple instrument. You can use coaxial irrigation aspiration. You cannot use bimanual with only one side port. We must be very meticulous you must give enough time and do a very meticulous surgery. You must clean the cortical matter with a lot of sincerity. And now, fluid jet is used to polish the posterior capsule. This can be called hydro polish. And now, a lot of seals were there, and 
this fluid wave is being used to polish the posterior capsule. 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected again. And now, since this patient had high astigmatism, astigmatism was 2.24 diopter at 13 degree. So the main incision has been enlarged so that the astigmatism reduces to some more extent. The main incision is now about 3.2 millimeter. A foldable intraocular lens has been placed in the capsular bag. And now the viscoelastic substance that has been used to fill up the entry chamber and the capsular bag is removed. And this should be removed very nicely. At this time, behind the eye wheel, the capsular bag is being irrigated. Now again the anterior chamber is being irrigated. By this irrigation the viscoelastic substance comes out through the main incision. Now I'm going through the side port and removing some more viscoelastic substance. the irrigation aspiration bimanual irrigation aspiration should be used for further cleaning of the viscoelastic substance HBMC is a very nice viscoelastic substance. In routine cases, we don't need chondroitin sulfate to protect the corneal endothelium. In hard brown cataracts or in cataracta nigra, we can use chondroitin sulfate. Otherwise, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is more than enough. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Going behind the eye wheel also at this time and removing some cells there. And now I am happy that the Posterior capsule is very clean. The antechamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please be a great surgeon and do a very good service to the mankind. Thank you very much.